restaurant. Uh, they, are, they are playing their music, so I'm preaching. Eh? Yeah. I preach to them Jesus Christ, you know. They need to know Jesus Christos because they, they don't know him. Yeah. Yeah, praise God. It's okay for them to sing, but maybe not for me to preach, but, uh, well, sharing the love of Jesus Christ, that he came and died for their sin and for my sin. Hallelujah. Well, Usyk's left glove uh, was damaged. The painting fell off the shelf and uh, it got damaged. So I just been trying to repair it all this time, but it's uh, going to take a while. Today is an absolutely beautiful day outside. Um, about 18 degrees, but kind of want to finish this painting and. Uh, you know, it's going to be pretty good, I reckon. So, yeah, I just pray about it. Hopefully, if I can get it finished pretty soon and do some more pictures. <laughs> Things are getting crazier. Is that a meerkat? I think it is. Shopping on a, you know, a weekend, a Friday night, and um, where better can you go? But bomber, just for your anti-Russian needs, I think. Anti-oppressive needs. That's pretty cool. Maybe keep a couple of grenades uh, handy, just in case uh, something goes wrong. Nice AK-45, or that's a sniper rifle, or I'm not really up on all the different. Uh, I know that's a hand machine gun. And pretty cool. Eh? So maybe add that to the shopping list and uh, see what else you can get. Not sure how you would actually wear cocaine, but it's uh, partly women's wear. <laughs> and uh, I think this is Odin. It's got he's got always got a crow. I think that's the crow. And. Uh, Odin in Odessa. I think it's uh, the name Odin's Day or Wedding's Day, isn't it? In the pagan calendar, which uh, just amazes me, you know. All the people that are like, it's really never changed from, uh, you know, creation. S Sunday to Satur Saturn's Day calendar. Saturn's Day, Saturday does not mean Sabbath. <laughs> Doesn't mean Sabbath. This is one of the gods of the, the Roman calendar. As I said, heavily influenced by the Romans and the Greeks. Uh, Odessa and the USSR uh, before that. So, a lot of witchcraft going on. Um, else to see? It's just a nightclub, I think. Restaurant, party club. So, a lot of strip bars around here in the city. This is Osana and like a Saturday night. So praise be to Jesus Christos, Jesus Christ is the way. The truth and the life, no one comes to God except through the Son, Jesus Christ. Hare Krishna is an idol. Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God. Hare Krishna is a pagan idol. And Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God. Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth. And I am the light. No one comes to God except through me, through Jesus Christ. And you can have no salvation today if you turn from your idols, if you turn from your sin, 
and come to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Eternal life can be yours through the gift that Jesus did on the cross 2,000 years ago. And you can be saved and have eternal life. You can know the living God rather than bowing before pictures and idols. Hallelujah. Your soul can be set free from sin and you can know your creator. Jesus Christ is the one who died for your sin, not Hare Krishna, not Buddha, not Muhammad, but Jesus Christ died for your sin. Hallelujah. And so I just want to encourage you to come to the Lord. Hallelujah. Now they worship a God that they do not know. They've never seen. They worship a set of ideals. They get high and they sin and they do not repent. But the Bible says that the sinful minded will carry on in their sin and not turn and repent to the Lord. The sinful minded will carry on. But if you want peace of mind and eternal life, you come to the living God through Jesus Christ, Jesus Christos. Now the Bible has morals. In Hare Krishnaism, they uh, sleep around. They actually have girlfriends and boyfriends. They don't really appreciate the family unit, but in Christianity, yes, uh, one man, one woman, one family, hallelujah, the way it should be. And there is three things you need to know to get saved. First of all, we need to understand that we're all falling short of the glory of God. There's no religion. There's nothing that anyone can do. Even good works cannot save us. But only through Jesus Christ, what he did on the cross 2,000 years ago, can we be saved. I hope that you can come to the Lord today, tomorrow, for salvation. Jesus Christ loves you. Jesus Christ desires a personal relationship with you. Hallelujah. You know, King David used to worship God seven times a day. Not just once at the weekend. Not just for show. But King David worshiped God seven times a day. Hallelujah. Well, this is uh, half twelve on a Sunday. He's been going uh, since yesterday. <laughs> it's the last time I was here, I don't know. I must take a break sometime, surely. Uh, don't know what they're doing. <laughs> but that was the building that I was talking about. Uh, it's a dragon building. Dragons all the way around the thing. Let's hope the focus works a little bit. This is not very good. Here is the exposure. You just about see them. There was a. Uh, I did see demons in my dream last night. It was like a sun god, and it was talking, and I was just rebuking demons last night. So obviously, you saw I was out doing a bit of preaching. So that's what happens, you know. Uh, you do preaching, then it it. Uh, Stars the hornet's nest, you know. Just down there. They were going up and down there last night, Hare Krishna. And then there's a big concert over here. So, let's hope somebody uh, can get saved from that cult, you know, the uh, Hare Krishnas. It could be, I don't know, got some goddess or whatever. She's got, a, I know what it is, it's Lady Liberty. That's what it is. 
can't really see it that clearly there, but it's got the uh, same sort of a headdress as Statue of Liberty. I think. And it's got wings on the head. <laughs> and there was a horse with wings the other night that was walking up and down. I think they, uh, maybe we'll see that today as well. And, uh... More faces there, lions, it's about authority. I'm not really sure what that, this building particularly is. Could be a nightclub part of it. I mean, this place was heavily influenced by the Greeks and the Romans, but uh, the Black Sea itself is a lot of strange sightings of UFO activity and uh, mermaids and you name it in the Black Sea. It's a very... Uh, difficult to get to, I'll probably get to it maybe later. Sports club just out there and uh, a lot of selfies taken uh, with uh, Usyk who defeated Bellew last night in a classic fight. So I'm looking forward to see the, the full fight on YouTube. I obviously didn't pay it and that's my little sign. Um, it says free prayer. So if you're ever in Ukraine, that's how you write free prayer, as far as I understand. But the thing is that most people here speak Russian. They get taught Russian in schools, mostly. So, and also, I think this is a special seat. I'm not sure what it represents. But, anyhow. <laughs> a lot of people get their picture taken there. <laughs> That's the old uh, dragon building there, so... Is that a horn there or something? Weird. It's all the way down um, the coast. But that's about the first place that you can... see the Black Sea. And uh, see what we see. Oh, there's an epitaph thing. And they usually got... Maybe it's a memorial as well. They usually have a, a war memorial close to it and stuff, but yeah, a big pagan epitaph, so it must be on a ley line. And there's the Black Sea. It is look, looking particularly black today, I must say. It's saying about nine degrees or eight degrees on the forecast, but it's no more than five degrees. Now when you can see your breath, when you're breathing, it's uh, this can't be any more than five degrees. I did study geography at school, I promise you. <laughs> wow, there's a boat there. The funny thing is that our geography teacher was usually uh, attacked, and I remember that um, she she was pregnant. I don't think she was married, and one of the one of the kids made a comment. Um, that it looked as if she had swallowed a bowling ball or some stupid comment they made and she went and cried in the closet for the rest of the class and she ended up leaving the school, I don't know what happened. Probably one of the teachers, one of the crazy teachers. But quite a good fight last night. I need to see the highlights and uh, just listen to Tony Bellew's uh, story and that, you know, I feel a bit... Bit sad for the old uh, Bellant Tony, the Bellant Bellew, but he's definitely not a Bellant. You know, he's really won a lot of respect in his career. And uh, apparently he got expelled from school for defending a teacher. That's, that's the kind of things that happen, you know, in life. Life is unfair. But uh, he got his just desserts in the end. about it because nobody really speaks English here but uh, might be something to do with the, the end of the USSR and the beginning of independence you know as I said uh, millions of lives lost through Stalin 
an AC here actually. And that's like all the ports, the beginning of them. It's a really, really big port city. It's getting nuts in. It's not sweet, but it's quite nice. It was cost about a pound, so it's not bad. <laughs> so that is the Black Sea. Uh, looking a bit wild today, I would say. Are the beaches down that, that end? I don't think there'll be anyone in sunbathing today. <laughs> yeah, got some spray there. Mr. Tootsie just disappeared. I don't know where he is now. But he is going to walk off. <laughs> Definitely not walk off. The edge of this uh, decking on onto there because this is what happens. <laughs> <laughs> so this is some traditional Ukrainian grub, and uh, that's the names of it. <laughs> the name of this again is uh, Bozora. Is Bozora? This is Mojna? Okay, thank you. His ambition is to pee in every country in the world, but every little nook and cranny, every empty bit, you know, obviously for this holiday season, there's some place he's not used, he just goes in everywhere, pees everywhere. So he's, I reckon he's peed in about at least uh, 16 countries by now or so. Something like that. Jay Gavira. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Your van? Yeah. <laughs> All day. <laughs> so they make a coffee here. Coffee service. Coffee and tea. And, uh, camper van, entranceway to the beach and hotel, whatever it is. This is the wings of Victory Square in Osena. It's just a five-pointed star at the top. And uh, it's a big city. You can't really see what's in the screen, I don't think. As a really zoom in, focus is gone. Just adverts. Yeah, it's a big city, Osena. Lovely park over there. So, uh, just watched the Bellew fight, and uh, I just thought before the fight, you know, he's lost a lot of weight in such a quick time, so he'd probably be tired. So, I saw that, and uh, I also knew Osik's footwork was the is the best, you know, in the world for some time. So, uh, so that's exactly what happened, you know. That's what bit barely is exactly what he said. At the end of the fight, he tired, and uh, Osik's adjustments in his footwork are just uh, elite. You know, they're just like beyond world class. He just gets that little inch on you. You know, just gets the openings, and it was the it was the shot just a few seconds before the finish. They re really just bent uh, Bellew's head over the ropes. I just saw it. It was the wrong side of the camera, but he was out on his feet, and then he just he just finished them off. But I've not even heard any commentators uh, say that. You know. Shopping centre, and I feel bad that I haven't 
you know, taking you around the city to show you some of the art that I saw last week. So, uh, so there's some here. This one is called Mr. Toot's Dinner Tonight. Oh, I'm joking. I'm um, not sure what that would be. It looks like trees to me, and sky and trees, I would say, but, but you know, it's a, it's a good effort. I'm not sure what this would be. Oh, this is houses. This is like uh, the tin roof houses, there's quite a few of them here. And then on the hillside, probably on the Black Sea. Uh, just amazed at how much some of them go for, you know. I've seen one about four or five thousand dollars went for on the internet, so I need to get my artwork up on the uh, up on the internet for sale, probably. I just, just never feel comfortable doing that. That's that's pretty pretty original. That's that's pretty uh, interesting, I would say, because you know the way the impressionists made uh, shapes up. You really got to stand back, and you know you know what it is. It's like a it could be a sort of a river and houses, you know, on a hillside. You've got the sea there. It's really nice. I think there's some nudes there. So close your eyes, please. Now this this actually looks better when I'm when I'm viewing it on the phone uh, than it does in real life. In real life, it you can't really make sense of it, but when you see it on the phone, because the colours are so bright on this one, so it's obviously a hillside and trees. In fact, it, you can see it better from that angle. Exactly what it is, straight on. Okay, you see it now, but I didn't see it straight away. Uh, it's a Celtic fan. No, it isn't. It's uh, oh, it's one of these. I thought that was the nose there. Just I thought that was a nose, but it's not. It's one. Of, it's the actual cathedral in Osenna. That's what it is. Where I was there the other day. Um, maybe it's all from Osenna. Who knows? It could be. That's interesting. That's sort of like uh, taking a picture of trees in the forest with a flashlight on. That's <laughs> it's quite a nice effect, actually. Quite simple and quite a nice effect. Quite like that. Um, that's that one. Not much to say about that. And you close your eyes for these ones. You know, the thing we can do two sides at once. It's not that kind of party. That's that's quite effective, isn't it? I think that's pretty good. I mean, things like that online go for quite a big price. You know, because there's a big market for those, and you know how hotels and uh, restaurants and that type of thing. It's really effective. A bit dull that one. It's got probably the Ayer Horus in it, or may, may it be something like that. Uh, as I said, well, that's a good one. That looks like Pac Man, but it's not, it's actually just a, a view of a valley. My art critique isn't exactly brilliant, is it? But close your eyes again. Again, I quite, I quite like that simple, that's pretty good. That's like a painting by numbers. Nah, it's, it's, it's good. I like it. Quite original. Vadim, 2008. And there is Mr. Vadim there. And I think that's a pretty decent uh, portrait, actually. Very good. 2003. Right. Five. A lot of these are actually vadim, and I'll, I'll see in the, in the playback. I wasn't really looking at the uh, another naked lady. Uh, 
that's interesting. Quite interesting, I would say. Just the way he's got the tones there, the green tones, and then the sky. And uh, I think they're all flat, flat them. Are they? Flat them? I think they're all done by him. I like the ways he's got different styles of doing things. He's got this way of doing it. Which is, uh, maybe he uses a stick for that or something like that, or a comb, or whatever it is, he's, you know. It looks like as if when you're, you're doing tiling, and uh, there's an instrument for doing when you're laying the tiles, so I think it would be one of those. And, uh, see, art is like just combining lots of techniques. And that's what makes it so, uh, can make it so inspiring and interesting. And, uh, this looks like an old, old portrait, but it's only 2000. You know? It looks as if it's aged already, it's like a hundred years, but it's, it's only, uh, 18 years old. So, again, I feel for. I wonder who uh, Vadim is. You can do a search on him. I might do a search for him later on. And uh, see what his influences are. But some of them, I think, are very good. They'll probably cost a fortune. <laughs> Being in a big shopping mall like this, you know, on display. This is definitely his most distinct style. I've never saw anybody really paint like this, but very interesting, I would say. Somehow he's managing to get depth and uh, everything there, just with a few colors scattered around. Very, very interesting indeed. That's pretty good as well. Yeah. Nice. Close your eyes here. <laughs> and, uh, that's another Orthodox church. I don't know. It's not. It's just a, a building. And it's just a building in Nocina, possibly. It sounds as if there's a kids' party upstairs. No, this isn't Vadim. Vadim. By this chap, or woman, or whatever it may be. I think they're all modern art this side. So, Mr. Toots Dennis for the past week. Sweet. That's just like, um, I know a guy in Glasgow that used to paint like that. He used to take paint tubes and just go up and down. <laughs> and <laughs> I'd say it's interesting. This is a bit more interesting. The snakes and ladders thing. This one looks like Star Wars. Something out of Star Wars. Uh, this one looks like a plate glass window a little bit. Got some join the up things. Bright colours, same with that one. I think that's uh, maybe a 3D effect one as well. Got some 3D colours in there. So it's quite effective that actually. And the red background. Sort of uh, very 3D. Um, okay, maybe not my favourite one, but maybe somebody might like that. And this looks like uh, a disease under a microscope. Maybe that's exactly what it is break it in the name of Jesus and I think this is a final one here which looks to me like flowers so hope you enjoyed a little uh, art tour <laughs> just one of these ones uh, you can't take a picture of can you you got to see it <laughs> yep these are lights on cords that are moving up and down the closer you get to it, probably the less you can see them moving, but well.
I wonder if I could win one of these cars. They're only 80,000 Grovny, I think it's. Grovny is the currency, I think, in, uh, in Ukraine. I think it is. Is that a Rover? And uh, what is that, an Audi? Is that a Porsche down there? Wow. Quite relaxing, actually. So some more art. That's like that American artist. I forget his name, but his paintings go for like millions of dollars, and they just look something like that. It could even be one of his. I'm not sure. It's just. Well, I believe this is all the same artist. Look at the background, really makes the colors stand out. You know, the violet really makes colors stand out tremendously, you know. I'm guessing that's somewhere in Osana, but... That's some gold paint there. <laughs> that's some gold paint. You can see the, the way he's done the layers there, just put layers on. Just put the gold paint on first and then just put layers on top. The housing and stuff. And really wowish, you know. To, to give you an idea of what it looks like at night, you know, so you can see the reflections. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but probably not up there with my favourites. Uh, this is interesting, maybe for a kiddie's room. <laughs> Only cost maybe a hundred grand, you know. That's, who really knows what these cost? They probably cost thousands of dollars. It's really effective, isn't it? I think that's meant to be the Virgin Mary or whatever, something to that effect. A demon. <laughs> Hopefully they won't store me. Um, no, this rings a few bells, doesn't it? Well, I think that's like the Orthodox uh, artwork in the cathedral we saw in uh, Kiev, right? So we're getting it's more some religious artwork, really. It's becoming uh, more religious. This one, it's a little kid on holiday. Very nice, actually. I really like this one. Got the ship there and uh, the nice colours of the the reef and the little sandbar. Beautiful. Close your eyes for that one. And he's having a bad day there, maybe or something. Demonically attacked. Um, now I wonder where this is. I don't know where this is, but. I have to stand really, really far back to uh, get it all in, you know. Yeah, this is a nice collage, isn't it? Are these really the presents? Yes, they are. A little tour of America has been going on. I don't know who these people are. <laughs> I don't know. They're the three wise men. 777 seven, 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 right there. There you go. First man in Mecca, right there. And uh, dollar bill. And he's got everything in there. See that there? The focus is just so not good in this. There it is there. And somebody else are actually doing a program or a live feed while I'm doing this, so alright. 
I like the the little paintings he's got at the uh, I don't know what that is. It's all right, isn't it? What's that? It doesn't look right, does it? I don't think it looks right, man. I think that's a gay, gay parade one. Don't want to see any more of that. Maybe that's why they're here. Um, actually, I uh, don't know what this could represent. It could be his spiritual self, or it could be an angel behind him, but it looks as if it's his... Uh, it doesn't look like an angel, does it? Very interesting, though. Mm. Uh, it's a little bit... Oh, sorry. Maybe this is the one which is really... Good. Didn't like that one anyway. I like this one, though. It's nice. Uh, you can see this in a Rothschild house, couldn't you? <laughs> oh my gosh. What I've missed in Osina, eh? Oh. I can't go over that he's, he's mixed religious art and with, uh, you know, a lot of paganism. The rabbits are obviously paganism, and uh, this looks more religious. So, uh, a bit weird, but, but the work involved in doing, doing it, you know, is pretty impressive. You can see, it's used a lot of gold paint. Uh, is that the Garden of Eden, or yeah, I think it probably meant it be the Garden of Eden. Not sure what these. It's an angel. The moon, maybe. It's just a, a temple, houses. Interesting. You got a lamb. Okay, that means Jesus. Is that meant to be a lion or? Is a giraffe, and there is a raccoon. So there you go. I don't know what Bible verse that's from. Uh, don't know what that is. Just houses and trees and uh, nothing in the middle. <laughs> I don't know. And we may have some sort of self-portrait of the artist there, possibly. No explanation of who it is. So usually that's uh, maybe the artist. He's got his image uh, ingrained in there somehow. Way 3D this one actually. The colours in it. Here's some more. As the artist. And I think they're all self portraits. <laughs> Maybe that's his wife. And uh, there's big chief uh, white dove. Chief donkey. No. It's interesting, isn't it? Oh, I see he's like holding uh, these birds on a piece of string. Maybe it's a kite he's got. I don't know. And then we have some more over here. Yeah, these part right up there. Right, see that <laughs> dress she was wearing is all glitter. Um, it's the same guy. <laughs> Back to the lights again. Just at the top, yeah. There's one more floor up there. 